What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm coming to you from the Evolve Nation headquarters. I'm so excited to kick off these mindset talks once again, not because it is the new year. No, actually it is because it's the new year because I know so many people are still stuck in that mindset where it's new year, new me, resolutions, it's a trending. It's also, you're getting off of the holiday season, so you gotta clean up your act. And you know what? There's no better way to do that than with fueling your mind. So I will be posting videos for you guys weekly, touching on mindset, touching on nutrition. Honestly, this is your place of resource, your place of hope, and your place of execution, right? Like I, I will talk to you guys about a lot, but I'll also tell you what to do so that you can actually start evolving. And so today, let's just talk about what is a New Year's resolution and where people go wrong, right? For me, the resolution crowd goes wrong because they miss one important aspect. And that aspect is focusing on your why more than you are what. Like, we all know what we want. I want to be skinny. I want to eat better. I want to be happy. I want my boyfriend or my wife to value me. Like, we all have wants. It's very clear. But what I think is missing for many people is the why, right? Like, the why are you doing this? You should focus so much more on that because when you have that why bucket full of powerful reasons far outside of you, right? There's the extrinsic motives, intrinsic motives, extrinsic meaning you're only motivated by the, the external, the environment, right? Like I want to look better because my boyfriend will love me. That's a good reason, not love me, but you know, think I'm hotter or whatever reason. That's a good reason, but you need another one because what happens if you guys break up? Yeah, there's that like redemption body, but like you can't let your goals solely be focused on extrinsic motives because these are not stable. They can be here one day, they cannot be here one day. You need to have intrinsic motives and a lot more of those, right? And as you get older into your fitness journey, you're gonna actually care about the health benefits, the mood, the energy levels, the focus. You know, you're gonna realize that illness costs you a lot more than the discomfort of working out and making those changes. And so, Focusing on your why is something I can't emphasize enough. If there is a goal that you have, please take the time to journal. A lot of people look at journaling like it's baloney, but I promise you that, that sitting in that silence will actually reveal a lot to you. We're always in motion, we're always thinking, we're always doing a lot, right? Take this time to sit in solitude and listen. You will discover a lot and you're, you'll actually activate a lot of neural pathways that can help you find solutions to a lot of the things you're probably really stressed out about and you can't figure out. It's like you can't figure out something, you can't find a solution if you're always stressed and thinking, right? You're in that very primitive mind. And so solitude is always good no matter what. Uh, and, and I mean like 15 minutes, you don't have to sit in solitude for like hours. All right, so focusing on the why is extremely important. And then after that why, it's like getting really specific with your goals, right? Not just I wanna eat healthy, but how can you take that goal and break it into subdivisions and get really precise with what actions you need to do, right? Like I have to eat healthy. All right, what does that mean? Karen, <laughs> it's not just salads, right? But it's the small things that you're doing, right? Don't go, this is point number three, people do so much all at one time. And it's so hard for your brain and your body to like be, uh, to have the synergy. And you know why? Because your body is the subconscious. And as long as this is the subconscious commanding your mind, you don't have control over your mind. And so the body has been in a routine for a very long time. And you think that as the calendar rolls over and you start to instill all of these changes, the body's gonna keep up? Of course not, of course not. So you need to have small, actionable, and precise steps. I'll give you a couple of examples. If you're someone that's used to drinking Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts, 600 calorie lattes, pumpkin spices, whatever it is, cut it out. Black coffee is black coffee. Black coffee with anything else is a milkshake. Okay, not to all degrees, you know, you can put your almond milk, you can put your stevia, brown sugar, whatever it is, but uh, start to make those small changes, right? Your drinks, cutting out sugar, just cut out sugar. That's the one thing I'll tell you, cut it out because sugar is addictive. It is more addictive than a lot of drugs out there. So if I was going to suggest things that you can cut out cold turkey and you should, and you should build the discipline to, it's sugar alcohol for at least 30 days because it's very hard to control your mind when you have a substance that literally changes your chemical composition and changes your mood entirely right like at this point you don't your, your body is so thrown off is so off balance because 
one day you're you know, think of it this way you're drinking alcohol you have this dopamine rush you feel good the next day your body's craving that again and so you you on a physiological level are so unbalanced and when you're trying to create a change and you're off balance you're just making the whole situation so much more complicated so commit to 30 days no alcohol cut out sugar as much as you can as much as you can and number three hydrate right these are the simple things we can do very very simple and they'll have crazy results and you guys will come back here comment oh my god i listened to you heba and guess what i have more energy in the morning i'm actually in the mood to work out i have more focus but you got to do it in order for you to come back and say that you got to commit wholehearted wholeheartedly and you'll do that when you know your why when your why is really all about you right and not about you and like how you look in front of other people and what the extrinsic motives say about you or make you feel when it's really about you when you actually have that self-love and commitment to yourself to be a better version of you and you're no longer just ashamed and I am this way because I am this way but you're empowered like you know that you have flaws you have errors you have a lot of room for improvement but you are so excited by that journey of I deserve better that you're committed and those whys are pushing you and that's my lifestyle you guys I my biggest regret and fear in life is to look back and say I could have could have should have would have but you didn't and guess what you can't buy time so work on your whys eliminate to evolve watch this video as many times as you need and hydrate you guys those small actionable steps you could share them with me on instagram at evolve.nation you could reach out to me ask me for some tips but you got to get moving and you got to be realistic and you got to focus on your mind i hope this video was helpful if you guys need more help with your fitness health wellness journey evolve challenge is right around the corner drop the link down in the description you have to join this journey it's it's going i can feel it's gonna be extra epic this year so if you're ready for a mind body and lifestyle transformation and not just your regular program i'm here to help you achieve that and far beyond thank you guys for watching leave your feedback any comments questions below and i'll catch you in the next video